CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation has been around since the 1500s, when the bellows method was first used by a Swiss physician named Paracelsus. In the 1700s, a Scottish surgeon used mouth-to-mouth -mouth breaths to revive a suffocated coal pit miner. This may be the first clinical description of mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation in medical literature. In the mid-1800s, chest compression was added, but it was mostly used during surgeries. In the early 1900s, the technique was developed for the treatment of drowning victims. In 1960, doctors Cowenhoven, Soffer, and Jude combined mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing with chest compressions to create cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the life-saving actions we now call CPR. In the same year, the American Heart Association started promoting CPR as a way to save lives. In the mid-1970s, the first CPR guidelines were created. In the 1980s, the song, Stayin' Alive, by the Bee Gees popularized the rhythm for giving chest compressions. In 2008, the American Heart Association changed the recommended ratio of compressions to breaths from 15 to 2 to 30 to 2. Today, CPR is widely taught and practiced around the world. Thanks to advancements in CPR techniques, many lives have been saved. Thank you for watching and supporting Florida Training Academy, a nurse-owned training business.